انما مسل الحیات دنیا کما ان انز اللہ بن السماء فختلت به نبات الارض مما ياكل الناس والانعام very really the similitude of this life of this world is like water which we send down from the sky فختلت به نبات الارض then the vegetation of the earth mingles with it comes out Mimma yaakulun nas wala naam which is eaten by people as well as an arm cattle you know the land was lying dormant no signs of life no greenery nothing of the sort rain falls now what was inherent in the earth it has come out the vegetation the potential that was inherent in the land it has come out and from this you know the animals as well as the humans they are eating hatta idha akhadat al ard zukhrufaha until when the earth puts on its ornaments and is adorned now you know this vegetation greenery now this earth is looking beautiful before that it was barren no beauty no greenery now you might see flowers were there a red flower a yellow flower so actually what has happened to this earth now this earth has become adorned and it has actually it it, it has put on ornaments hatta idha akhadat al ard zukhrufaha wa zayyanat wa zanna ahliha annahum qadirun alayha and its masters they think that now they have all the power over it our harvest is ready our crop is ready and tomorrow we shall start harvesting now everything is with us do are rejoicing ataha amruna lailan aw naharan suddenly our command comes to this this crop either during the night or during the day fajalnaha hasidan and we make it as if it has been reaped already no they can't reap anything now it is all gone kalam taghna bilams as if it didn't even exist yesterday this is what happened to the nations they were just you know destroyed as if kalam yaghna fiha as if they never lived here where are the ad and the samud when you know when the destruction from allah came to them they became as if they never lived here kazalika nufassilu alayat li qaumi yatafakkarun in this way we detail our revelations for those people who ponder and who reflect now what is the simile in it earth lying dead water comes it becomes alive the seeds were there in the earth they sprout the same way after your death you will be buried in the land your seed will be there command of allah will come and you will come out so actually this is the life here and that will be the life hereafter so there is a similarity wallahu yadu ila dar salam and allah is calling you towards the house of peace dar salam wa yahdi man yasha ila sirat mustaqim and he guides whosoever likes or whomsoever he likes i told you this man yasha can go both ways he guides whosoever likes to the right path to the straight path who wants to have to go to right path allah guides him and to whom so ever he likes allah guides him so man yasha goes both ways we usually think it is only on the side of allah it is it can be interpreted in that way also allah chooses whom so ever he likes he he leads him to the right path but actually his condition is that you must also be intending to to go to the right path only then allah subhanahu wa taala guides you so this is both ways wallahu yadu ila dar salam wa yahdi man yasha ila sirat al mustaqim he guides to the right path whomsoever he he likes or whosoever likes to be guided lil ladina ahsanu al husna those who are doing good deeds for them is the best ahsanu husna husna is ahsan muannas of ahsan feminine of ahsan whosoever is doing good deeds for him will be the best allah will reward more it will be the best wa ziyada 
and he will increase from his own bounty he will add wala yarhaqu wujuhuhum qatarun wala zillah and their faces will not be covered on the day of judgment by any ignominy abasement or any darkness ulaika ashabul jannah they are the people of the garden hum fiha khalidun and therein they will abide forever walladhina kasabu sayyat as for those who earned ill deeds evils jaza wa sayyatin bi misliha the reward or punishment of the evil ill deed is equal to the deed not more for hasana yuzaf you know he will get better and more but for sayya the same amount wa tarhaquhum zillah and humiliation will cover their faces when they'll be standing before their lords humiliation and abasement will appear from their faces ma lahum min dunillahi min asim there'll be none who could save them from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kanama ukhshiyat wujuhum qitam min al layl muslima and it will be as if their faces were covered with strips of night pitch dark ulaika ashabun narihum fiha khalidun they are the people of the fire and they will dwell in it forever wa yawman ashruhum jamian thumma naqulu lil ladina ashraku makanakum antum wa shurakaukum and just remember and recall the day when we shall gather them all and then we shall say to these people who associated others with me with us makanakum mantum wa shurakaukum at your places you and all those whom you worshiped whom you associated with us fa zayyalna bainahum and we shall split between them no relationship should remain between them wa qala shurakahum ma kuntum iyana ta'budun and whom they had associated with allah they would say proclaim oh no you were not worshiping us don't blame us don't make us ashamed in the presence of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you were forbidden you were worshiping us now who are they the angels the mushrikeen of arab thought the angels are the daughters of allah and they had made their deities in the feminine names lat uzza manat christians think jesus is son of allah and he is the intercessor who so believes in him he all his sins they are pardoned and condoned in the same way you know the prophets then all ya allah the saints they will intercede they show reverence to them they go to their graves they go round about their graves and so on they are doing it all these will say no 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 we are bari from you we are kept absolutely free from you they will disown them fazayyalna bainahu wa qala shurakahu ma kuntum iyana ta'budun no you are not worshiping us fa kafa billahi shahidan bainana wa bainakum allah is sufficient as a witness between you and us inna kunna an ibadatikum la ghafilin we were absolutely ignorant that you were worshiping us we never knew jesus would say say it sheikh abdul qadir jilani would say it i never knew you are calling me to help you i never knew so this is actually which is given here wa yawma nahsharuhum jamian thumma naqulu lil ladina ashraku makanakum antum wa shurakaukum fa zayyalna bainahum wa qala shurakahum ma kuntum iyana ta'budun fa kafa billahi shahidan bainana wa bainakum in kunna an ibadatikum la ghafilin we were absolutely ignorant of your worship hunalika tablu kullu nafsin ma aslafat at that time every soul will be acquainted fully of what she had sent for itself waruddu ila allah maulahum al haqq and they will be returned to allah their lord the true lord wa dalla anhum ma kanu yaftarun and all the concoctions and all the forgery and all these you know shirk that they were doing it will just vanish away just go with the wind it will just disappear 